Welcome to Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John. Today we're going to help you build the 150 gallon deck box. In this assembly, we're going to follow the instructions that come with the deck box. If you've already begun or you need help with a certain step, feel free to check the description below. There will be a timestamp associated with each step of the instructions. There will be steps in this build where you're moving the deck box in specific positions. If you're not comfortable moving it by yourself, make sure you have another adult available. Alright, let's take a look at what's in the box. Before we get started, let's take a look at some of the tools you're going to need to complete the job. You'll need a drill, a Phillips bit driver, a 7 16 wrench, half inch wrench, it may be helpful to have a socket set. Sockets you'll need 3 8 7 16 and half inch, safety glasses, Phillips screwdriver, and a rubber mallet. Alright, let's get started. First, you're going to take the floor panel and the back panel and slide the tabs into the notches on the back of the floor panel. Once inserted, slide it to the left until it stops. Repeat the previous steps with the front panel. Now you're going to take the left panel and fold the corners up, making sure that the notch on the top goes towards the back of the deck box. When you line up the tabs, make sure that they snap into place. Now you're going to connect the side panel to the front and back. You're going to need four screws for the front and four screws for the back. This step may be easier with the help of another person. Repeat the previous steps on the right side. Now we're going to secure the bottom to the side panel using hardware. In order to do that, we have to flip the box completely over. If you're not comfortable doing that, make sure you have another adult to help you. To secure the side panel to the floor panel, we're going to put a screw through each of the five tabs on the bottom. Repeat the same steps on the tabs for the right side. This next step, we're going to flip the box back over. Again, if you're uncomfortable doing that, make sure you have somebody help you. Now you're going to take the locking tab and attach it to the front panel with the hardware. Next, you're going to take the lid locking tab and attach it to the lid support bar using the hardware. These nuts are center locking nuts. They are designed to be tight, so they will be harder to tighten. Continue to tighten them until they are flush with the lid locking tab. Now you're going to take the lid support bar and slide it into the slit on the left side of the lid. In order for the right side of the lid support to go into the slit, you may need to bend the bar a little bit to get that in. For this next step, we're going to secure the support bar to the lid using the hardware. The holes are too small for the screws, so you're going to need to use a drill to attach them. Make sure that you don't over tighten. The 
The hinge is oriented this way so you can attach the hardware like this. Now you're going to take the left hinge and put it into the slot on the lid, rotating it downward, making sure that the ball studs are facing inwards. Now you're going to attach the left hinge to the lid using the hardware. Keep in mind the holes will be smaller than the screws, so you will need to use a drill for this step. The hinge goes together this way for the right side of the lid. Repeat the same steps you did for the left side on the right side so you can secure to the lid. Next, you're going to take the hinges and rotate them to a 90 degree angle like this. So lift the lid up and place the hinges on the slot in the back of the deck box. This step may be easier with the help of another person. Now I can secure the hinges to the deck box using the hardware. The step may be easier with two people. Place the gas spring like this onto the ball studs. Push hard so they snap into place. Thanks for watching our video of how to assemble a lifetime 150 gallon deck box. If you have any further questions, reach out to our customer service team and check out our awesome products at lifetime.com.